Paul, we're starting to see um, increased confidence, um, certainly around the affiliate uh, promotional space. Um, there seems to be a logical and a, and a, a coming together for bodies such as AIM and the regulator and the players within that space. And I know at last seem to have some sensible conversations about how the regulator can both understand the marketplace better and, the, and as an industry, as we can all benefit from the value that brings to us. So uh, we've seen that as a very positive trend in what previously has been quite a difficult space for the affiliates to be in recent months. Around payments, it's certainly an exciting point for us. Um, we are seeing new initiatives launching and we have two very clear new billing initiatives um, that we're hoping to showcase and kick off with at World Telemedia. Um, the first of that being our, our enhanced single click proposition. We have a, a unique um, spin on that um, and we're looking to showcase that and, and talk to clients within that space um, about that. And the second is we have a whole of the new money license uh, and we're we're actively looking at ways in which we can we can monetize um, mobile payments in use of that, and that, that extends and broadens the opportunity into kind of quasi physical and also physical goods payments, which is again is a new growth market that we can exploit. Uh, well, we're, we're seeing a continued trend now with the expansion on um, for shop codes. Uh, they've, they've been a long term part of the, the mobile payment cycle. Um, but with the extension to seven digits or so further two digit extensions, it's an end of break into new marketplaces where you can hit contact centers and the corporate environments and we can start bridging that real tangible space of payments into the corporate sector and, and using existing technologies to leverage new revenue streams.